Another exciting week in the CFL. Easy for you to say, I'm a Ryder fan. Let's start with that game, then, as the Riders allow the BC Lions to become the last team to finally get a win, with a 24-11 win over the Saskatchewan boys. I hate to admit, but Jeroy Simon still has what it takes to beat teams almost single-handedly. That's true, and even though it's early, with one win each, the Riders and Lions are already starting to lose touch with the leaders in the West. Yes, the Stamps improved to 4-2 by beating the Thai Cats 32-20 in Calgary last Sunday, a win that moved the Stamps to only one game behind the Eskimos. And the Eskimos are now the no longer the only undefeated team in the CFL as the lost to the Bombers. Final score 28-16 Winnipeg. Buck Pierce was fantastic, and how about that defense? Even without Dub Brown in the middle of the line they absolutely mauled Ricky Ray in the second half. Another character win for the Bombers, which kept them one game ahead of the Alouettes, who beat the Argos 36-23 in a game that wasn't as close as the score indicates. Absolutely, the Argos got some early scoring but were clearly outclassed by the Alouettes. Anthony Calvillo set the record for most career completions. That goes along with his record for career touchdowns thrown, and quite possibly will be joined with his record for career passing yardage by season's end. One of the truly great ones. That is it for this week. Tune in next week when we recap Edmonton at Montreal, Calgary at Saskatchewan, Toronto at Hamilton and Winnipeg at BC. Go Riders! You're such a homer.